Hello, risers! <laughs> Let's um, make a polybar module that we can use to change wallpapers. This is how my module works now. I can scroll this little icon here to change wallpapers. Nice. You can click it to display this full control view. Change wallpapers with this and you know, the shuffle and I can delete the wallpaper. I can rename a wallpaper if I want to here. Waves. And um, I can click this to blur it. You can also right click the text here and then uh, use this menu to change wallpaper. We will do all of this uh, and maybe more in this uh, video. Or actually not more. Uh, probably less because we will not have time to do all of it in one video but um, we'll see we'll see how far we get you know so let's start here with how it looks like in polybar the polybar configuration file which i have open here you can see it here this is dot config slash polybar slash config here is the module list here is that module bwp module i call it um, and I've added that uh, to the far right of the left module section here. Then I define that module down here um, with this polyfy tool, utility, whatever you want to call it, that I uh, demoed yesterday and uh, uploaded yesterday and everything. So it's now available on AUR and GitHub and everything, you know. So if you haven't watched that video, I really recommend you do so, or at least uh, take a look at this repo and read the uh, documentation here, because I will not uh, explain everything in full detail, uh, or whatever. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what we do here. Blah, blah, blah. Here we have this module that I call BWP module. Um, and we define it with just this polyfy module thing here and then we have some more stuff uh, but this is all i have in the uh, polybar config but as you can see uh, all the actions here uh, points to a, 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 a different command bwp control which is a script that i have here uh, which is what actually creates the, the controls and stuff here so we take it one step at a time um, Let's comment all of this stuff out so we just have a clean uh, polyfy module here. So now it, it doesn't display anything here. But I can update this module with the module BWP module testing. And there, that works, you know? Nice. Uh, I like it so that we have this. Uh, uh, the module prefix with a little icon here uh, that I get from from uh, Font Awesome. It's one of yeah I don't remember which it is here, but whatever. It's it's a Font Awesome icon that I just pasted into the Polybar config. And if if you add that like this this format option to a IPC module, uh, then you can add the stuff before or after or whatever uh, the output of, of the, the hook, the last hook but uh, in its initial state here then no hook have been triggered so that, then it will only display this icon and that's exactly what I want here but as soon as I update the module then you can see that is dis displayed but the, the icon will always be there um, then I think we could start with, with adding scroll up and scroll down here then let's change this to to use bwp wallpaper next and here we can do bwp wallpaper previous and as you know that that is the commands uh, to to change wallpaper and this will now work when i scroll the icon here so if i scroll up it should take the next previous or down previous Nice, it works, amazing. Uh, but when, if we want to toggle here, I, I want to be able to click this to display the controls and the name of the wallpaper and stuff. Then I have found that it's much easier to do so if, if we add like a, a control script for that. And that looks like this here now. 
Um, what I would like to do is uh, this, clear it so it doesn't do anything. Then we could add uh, just a test command here, polyfy module uh, BWP module and then now this is from control script save the script is called BWP control so I can execute it here and there now it says the, uh, now this is from control script amazing so if we add this now to our polybar to as a left click left action here um, yeah we can have this uh, what, what I have here uh, BWP control and then we also pass the argument toggle save there now we can see it reverted back to only the icon because uh, we don't have any initial value here and I like it like that but if I click this icon now then uh, it executes the, the BWP control script if I click it again nothing really happens here of course, because it just executes the same same thing, so it doesn't look like anything happened. But maybe it's more clear if we add like a command here, for example, date. Uh, and now every time I click here, it should display the date. And as you can see, it doesn't matter where I click. If I click on the text, if I click on the icon, even if I click between the text and icon, these. Uh, uh, mouse actions that you add to the polybar configuration here they are uh, on the whole whole module and also the scroll actions here works when I scroll anywhere on the module here uh, and I kind of want that behavior uh, but we, what we want to do is is to toggle the, the module and, and, and that means basically that either we display the text or we clear the module that. Uh, <clears throat> I also have uh, the, the directory here that contains these polyfy files here. So we can see here BWP module, it's, it's empty now. But if I add uh, a string here, now we can see that uh, this file contains some text. And you can easily cut the content of this file by just uh, executing the command polyfy module name uh, and then it will cut out the, the content of, of that this file here and this is also a, a good way to test uh, uh, which mode we are in because we could look at it at, as two modes either the controls are visible or they are minimized so let's start by doing that here um, I don't know there's probably a different way to do this but uh, Uh, polyfy module BWP module and state controls or state minimized or something it doesn't really matter um, and then we also can also test here since we are executing it with, with a toggle argument here we can add that to, to the BWP control script here to, to make a simple case dollar one in toggle isac uh, and if the first argument is toggle then we can just uh, test here for this if if state is equal to control then we clear the module if it's uh, minimized then we show the module of course so if state is equal to controls then clear the module right because then it's visible else show the module 
there. And now if I click here, it uh, uh, did hide uh, the text. But if I click it again, so now I can toggle here. Cool. Um, okay, but we don't want to display the date. We want to display the, the, the name of the current wallpaper here. Uh, and to do that, we, we borrow some stuff from the BWP script. For example, the environment variable BWP dir, which is the uh, path to the, the library here. We can add that here. And this is a good reason why you should use environment variables. Now, now this variable will work across scripts. If we uh, change this environment variable, it will work in both scripts, so to speak. Um, we also, we can also borrow these guys here to get the, the name of the current wall there and then we change this to kurnam now and there now it says the name of the wallpaper if i scroll here now and change wallpaper change wallpaper but it doesn't update the name here to do that i have to toggle it again and then we we get the right name but we would like it so that it uh, both changes wallpaper and updates this text um, to 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 um, do that we go back to the polybar configuration here and then instead of of um, executing bwp directly here we, we execute bwp control uh, and then we change wallpaper in the control script instead. Uh, you will see next and prev. Nice. So now if I scroll, nothing happens at all here because we don't test for these these two arguments. So we add that to our case here. Next, BWP, wallpaper next, prev, BWP, wallpaper previous. So now it will work again change wallpaper I scroll here but it still doesn't update the, the, the module name what we could do you might think we can do this but it will not work perfectly you will see if we add the polyfy update with the current name now if I scroll here see now it updates the text but we get the wrong name we get the we get the last wallpaper and that is because we, we get the current name here we change wallpaper, but we never update these variables. We need to, to refactor this bit. Uh, and as we can see, we also have a bunch of duplication here. So let's make a, a function that we call uh, update module. And there we can add this stuff. We can also add this stuff here. Uh, then we use update module here instead but this will also not work here because now we declare this uh, uh, function here but we call it before we declare it so I like as you know create a main function here put our main operations inside that and then execute the main function at the bottom of the script like this. Now I think it will work. So next white mountains, next Windows 95 looks like it's working. Let's uh, do this. We can see the whole wallpaper. Maybe we can open the walls directory also. Vice bombs, eval apply. Yeah, it, it kind of works now. Nice, and you can see how fast I can change here. That's because uh, the BWP script is so uh, efficient. All right, um, 
and I can toggle the, the visibility of it like this. But we get a, got another little minor issue here. Uh, if the controls are minimized and I scroll this uh, um, icon here now, you can see then it uh, change wallpaper and it also updates the module, you know, with, with a um, uh, current wallpaper name here. And uh, I would like so that if it is in its min uh, minimized state and we, we try to update the wall here, then it shouldn't, uh, uh, shouldn't display the text. Uh, if you understand what I mean. Uh, can just test here if state is equal to controls or no and so we only update the module with the next and previous here if, if the state is visible control so now it the controls are visible, I hide them, I scroll now, now it doesn't update or, or it doesn't show the text and that's exactly what I want. Cool. And yeah, I think we make a break there and add the rest of the controls in the next uh, video. But this is a good start. Um, maybe we could add or let's let's add everything in the next video instead. Because here you can see also now when I click the text here, it also toggles. I, I, I only want the toggle action here for the icon and stuff. So whatever, we take it in the next video. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day.